Hi brothers and sisters, again this is Eric Bison. I come to you this morning just to talk to you about something that is very pertinent to me. Looking at the fact that I have female child in my family. Uh, looking at the fact that I have female siblings. Looking at the fact that my mother was a female. Uh, looking at the fact that you know I have young sisters you know, that are future leaders in Cameroon. Young sisters that can be somebody. Young sisters that have their place in the society. Young sisters that can be doctors tomorrow, engineers, entrepreneurs, you know, name it. So I want to talk to you about breast ironing. For those in the diaspora, you know, breast ironing is something that does not talk most often. Breast ironing is something that is erased in the atmosphere. But in the rural areas of Cameroon, breast ironing is happening. And breast ironing is happening because of the lack of education that we don't put in healthcare in the rural areas in Cameroon or in Cameroon even as a whole. But what is breast ironing for those that don't know? Breast ironing is that activity where mothers try to use to prevent their daughters from having sex or to prevent, prevent their daughters uh, from boys looking at their daughters while their daughters are still young. So the mother thinks that, okay, this is how the practice goes. They use a hard rock, put it on fire until it becomes so hot. Then they press on their daughter's breast. Why the press? When they realize that their breast shoots out a little bit, they use those hard rocks and press on the breast for the breast to submerge, uh, to suppress. But the thing is, is they're doing that with a good mind. That okay, they want to prevent those things from their daughter having sex and getting pregnant while they are still young, or from guys looking at their daughter, or from guys going after their daughter. The idea is good. But it's just the practice that's wrong. But now what do we have to do to make sure that they understand that, okay, that practice is wrong. We can't just be telling them, oh, breast ironing is not a good uh, practice, it's not a good activity. But we don't give them an alternative. We don't give them another road to understand that, okay, this is how you can do it. This is how you can prevent your daughter from unwanted pregnancy. This is how you can prevent guys from looking at your daughter. At Amirulis Healthcare Foundation, we have realized that this is the 21st century. Let's forget about so much talking. Let's understand that they are doing all that because they don't have an alternative and they don't have the right form of education and other strategies to work upon. So what do we do? We basically come up with a formal education, healthcare education, sex life education. Make the mothers understand that your practice is wrong because they are so much effect of pressing your daughter's breast with hard rock. There are diseases attributed to that. We have cancer. Cancer and other related diseases attributed to that. But the mom won't know about cancer. She won't know about those diseases because she doesn't get the right form of education on those diseases. And seeing that she's destroying her daughter's life while her daughter is still young. But we have to we give them that alternative. That okay, you can get this form of education. See that okay, if you don't do this. Your daughter will grow healthy, she will grow mature, but give her the understanding that, okay, having sex now before you get married is not a good thing. Or being pregnant before you get married is not a good thing. You can, It's good you wait until you get married. Or it's good that, you know, you prevent yourself from, you know, those kind of things before you get married because there are STDs, there are other diseases allocated on the side. You never know. You make them honest. You give them that health education on why breast ironing is wrong or why pressing their daughter's breast with a hard rock is wrong. But we can't just sit and just keep talking and expecting them to understand that, okay, no, it is it is not good. Yes, period. So at Marie's Healthcare Foundation, we are creating a strategy of going Educational will say no to breast ironing. No breast ironing. No breast ironing. You are not going to get our young girls. By educating our mothers on the effect of breast ironing on the longevity of their daughter, on the health on their, of their daughter, on the progress of their daughter, and on the future of their daughter. We we'll make them understand that there are other ways. You can talk to your daughter about sex. You can sit to her, educate her, give her your choice. Because we live in the 21st century, people make their choices at a certain age. But we just have to guide them with motivation. We just have to guide them with su su suggestions. That, okay, no, don't do that. This is how you do it to be perfect. 
this is how you do it to try to be perfect. But don't do this. Don't press your daughter's uh, breast with a hard rock put on fire. That will not prevent her from having sex. That will not prevent her from being pregnant. It will just destroy her life, put more sickness into her skin or her body. We educate them on that. So this is a fight that I'm putting forward in 2014. Join Mary Louise Healthcare Foundation. Let's say no to breast counting by educating our mother. Standing firm on health education. Educating our mother. Coming out with the best materials to talk to our mom. How our sisters are the future generation. And how they don't deserve their breasts to be suppressed by a hard rock. That is what we should do in this 21st century. This is the time. This 2014 is the time. Let's forget about so much talking. Let's go into action. Let's forget about the big uh, 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 things that we, we think about. But healthcare is the important thing in Cameroon right now. I know our economy is bad. But let's us, the individual in the diaspora, or those in the diaspora, understand that we have to prevent our daughters to be destroyed or our sisters to be destroyed while they are still young because they are the future leaders of Cameroon. So people in the diaspora, as I said, breast ironing is an activity. Their mother use hot stone. They put it on fire to suppress their daughter's breast in the pretext of preventing them from being pregnant or from guys looking at them because their breasts are growing up, which is a wrong practice. You can imagine, just have the picture in your head, is it something painful? They, our daughters cry, our sisters cry. It is very, very painful. So we have a put. We have to put a stop to breast ironing in Cameroon. Let's say stop breast ironing in Cameroon by educating our mother. Give them the right health education on why breast ironing is wrong and what they can do to help their daughter grow healthy, mature. So join me at Megalus Healthcare Foundation and let's see what we can do to put forward a process, a right form of health education to stop breast ironing in Cameroon. Breast ironing in Cameroon must be eradicated. People don't know about it, but it grows in our rural areas and that is killing our sisters. That must be taken out. That must be knocked down. Thank you again. This is Eric Bison, the founder of Mary Louise Healthcare Foundation. You can check us at www.maryluisehealthcarefoundation.com and check us also on our Facebook page, Mary Louise Healthcare. Your ideas are welcome. Your strategies are welcome. Your policies are welcome. Like I said, this is a foundation to give back good healthcare to our people in rural Cameroon. So we need the best we can. Thank you and may God bless you all.